Hey guys, Cast72 here. Um, it's been a while and I do apologize uh, since I've put up a video, but um, just been very busy. Um, anyway, that's that's typical, but um, there's a couple of subscribers I've got that wanted more detail on the antenna mod that I did for the Up Air uh, 2 that I have. Uh, so I want to go over that today. Um, I had promised I'd make the video, and it's been a little bit longer than what I expected, but uh, today we're going to go ahead and resolve that and take care of that for you guys. And um, the antennas I'm referring to are the controller antennas, as well as the receiving an antenna uh, mod that I did on the actual up air itself. Now before I start this, let me explain a few things to you guys. Um, I think there's an issue with understanding what particular mods most people on YouTube are referencing when it comes to this particular drone. And the reason for that is because without going into too much history, um, G10 went through a transition where they sold the business to an alternate company and at that point they started making things a lot better. Now because of that there's a discrepancy between what models, uh, since they pretty much identically look all the same. So let me go over a few of the models. In particular, when they say Up Air 1, guys, they're referencing the Up Air 1 Plus 2.7K, the Up Air 1 Plus 4K, the Up Air 1 2.7K, and the Up Air 1 4K. Now remember, that only covers Up Air 1. When someone's referencing Up Air 2, that covers the Up Air 4X 4K Focus, the Up Air Ferry, the Up Air Ultrasonic 3D plus 4K, and then this one here, which is the Up Air 2 Basic 2.7K. And in regards to that, guys, this is only referencing, again, the Up Air 2 Basic 2.7K, but keep, keep in mind it's the PX4 version 1.2.00 2016 model. So, with that being said, Remember, that's the unit that we're focusing on today. Um, I've noticed a lot of YouTube videos, they don't explain what, air, uh, what particular up air model they have. They might say up air 2, but which model? They might say up air 1, but which model? So I just wanted to cover that with you guys. Now, I'll go more further into detail once I take this apart. That's another thing I want to mention is that I already did this mod and unfortunately at that time I was just kind of starting the YouTube channel not really referencing a lot of the things I was doing so I don't have a video of me installing these antennas so what I'm going to do now is the reversal I'm going to break down everything open it up show you what I did um, what parts I used I'll document all that in the uh, description and we'll go with that so at this point let's go ahead and I'm going to do a little bit of uh, uh, time lapse we're going to take apart the um, controller and then at that point I'll probably um, uh, stop the, the, the uh, time lapse and explain further once I get this open about the antennas and then followed by that we'll do the, uh, the drone itself and the modification with that receiving antenna. So with that being said guys, let me go ahead and start the disassembly and uh, like I said, hope you enjoy the video. Alright guys, let's do this. Okay guys, with the time lapse, obviously that didn't take long at all. Honestly, to open up the controller probably only took about not even two minutes. Um, just four screws. And then basically just open it up like a clam. Uh, when you do open it up, make sure you don't extend it too far apart because you still have these cables that are connected. But you can still do the modification, honestly, without um, disconnecting any of the cables. Now, uh, before we get into this, let me explain a few things like I was mentioning that I wanted to bring up about the antenna. Now the package that I bought from Amazon, and I'll put it in the link, um, I have another video out with the link itself when I did the, uh, the flight modification and just to see how long of a range I can get, which the range on it came out to about 104 meters, which was pretty damn far. Um, I don't ever see myself flying that far. I just kind of wanted to do it for testing purposes to see if the antenna modification made a difference. And at that distance, I still had good video quality. Like I said, there's a video on it that I have. 
um, and with the um, standard um, after about 300 meters maximum 400 meters video was just terrible um, okay but getting back to the antennas now what I wanted to mention is when you get the kit and one of the things I liked about the antenna mod is that it's fairly simple due to the fact that you have pigtail connections so they're not soldered onto the board now I kept the originals just in case if I ever want to sell the drone or you know maybe I want to upgrade and hand this over to somebody else I can put the original antennas on um, and I labeled them so basically this is your TX and I suggest you guys doing the same um, I labeled where the TX goes and therefore there's no need to mark the other one because there's only one other antenna needed and you'd know where that goes so in this case TX would go to your TX 2.4 gigahertz um, you know uh, chip and then the other one would go to your Wi-Fi so I kept these like I said um, the kit comes this was the original antenna with the kit that came with this setup so basically you'd have your Wi-Fi to the left and this is what the controller facing the way it would as if you were holding it in your hands okay so you got your Wi-Fi to the left make sure that the Wi-Fi emblem is facing you not in that direction it's got to be in this direction and then of course your antenna now um, I wasn't happy with the length of the antenna that came with the kit that's that's when I ended up getting these um, these I got from Amazon as well I'll put the link if you guys want but they're the Wi-Fi antennas alright and I believe these are rated at 10 dBi as opposed to um, I think these were rated I'm sorry um, these 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 small ones were rated at like I think 2.3 dBi maybe 3 dBi at max um, so you just get a better range with these um, the difference between these is the ones that have the long slim uh, shield I think are 9 dBi these that have uh, kind of like the uh, and I'll probably try these out to be honest with you I haven't even tried these antennas out but these are supposed to be 10 so you'll get even better um, signal on these and you can tell because these have the uh, you know I guess these I don't know what you want to call these probably just I don't know slight modification molds right here um, again there's the difference between the smooth and then the, the, the 9 and the 10 dBi um, Wi-Fi antenna um, so like I said um, once you've opened it up you take your uh, TX antenna your Wi-Fi antenna take them off be sure to label them so in case you want to ever go back and put them on you know exactly where they go kinda like what I did here I wrote TX here and TX on the chip so I know that this antenna goes to that chip and then this obviously would be my Wi-Fi okay which goes here um, that's another thing I want to point out your pigtails again that's going to be your TX this is going to be your Wi-Fi um, pretty pretty simple guys this is one of the most easiest simplest modifications you can do for distance um, for range and as far as uh, video quality uh, very inexpensive very simple to do you're not really ruining anything at this point just be sure to take the power completely out of the controller and before you power anything on make sure you have your antennas connected uh, again don't ever turn the controller on without the antennas you'll fry the boards I'm sorry you'll fry the chips um, okay and so when I um, took the original antennas off which were these they had some sort of some sort of a slight little um, I guess if you want to ca call it a little mold that would clip into these I don't know if you can see that but it kinda like would clip on so with these other ones I pretty much needed a little bit more of a, of a smaller diameter so in in place of that let me see if I can get it closer for y'all I used as if you can see that I used um, what is that um, glue and I basically you know melted some glue around there and then sandwiched it all back together before the glue dried up um, hot glue that's what I was that's the word I was looking for I used hot glue 
um, and that just basically gave it that extra diameter that needed to hold these in place and and that was it that was pretty much it guys I mean that is simple modification and got a lot longer range on the um, the controller so like I said again you know I hate repeating myself but I don't want anyone to make a mistake here before you take your antennas off label the antennas to know exactly where they go for those of you that are unfamiliar because these are not marked with the inner workings and the chips installed on these controllers on this particular model again like I stated at the beginning of the video your TX 2.4 gigahertz chip is going to be on this um, board right here which is the board that your actual toggles are connected to on the opposite side on the battery side the back side of the controller that's going to be your Wi-Fi okay so let me put all this back together and then now we'll start on the uh, the drone modification that I did all right let's do it okay guys um, that didn't take long at all uh, I want to say probably two three minutes tops just be sure when you guys put it all back together um, that you're very careful with the inside wiring you don't want to pinch any of that that's what I was doing if you noticed when I was down here trying to push that cable in and uh, at this point just power it on make sure it's able to power on with no issues and also that you're able to get a display and there you have it and at this point it's just waiting for a signal from the drone so that's good um, I went ahead and installed the 10 dBi antenna I'm just curious to see what kind of results I get with that I almost forgot I purchased these a while back uh, the other thing again like I said make sure when you connect the Wi-Fi cable I'm sorry the Wi-Fi uh, antenna that it, the emblem is facing you not facing out um, other than that that takes care of the controller and what next we'll go ahead and start on the um, on the drone now the drone was extremely simple uh, it was more simple than the actual controller itself guys um, let me get the drone real quick okay uh, so what I did with this drone is again I basically ran my antenna and connected it to the actual um, transmitter and uh, I disconnected the original antennas that were installed which you can see I still have them here I still got them installed again same reason in case I upgrade or if I ended up wanting to sell it or give it to somebody I can always put everything back original and you can tell because if you can see inside there I don't know if you can the cables are still I mean the antennas are still there uh, the connections that is um, so the modification that I did was very simple I just basically connected this um, uh, antenna the receiving antenna and ran it in looped it a little bit on the inside because it was a little bit longer than expected and then connected it to the uh, transmitter and it, that's that's as simple as it is I don't know if I want to disconnect this just to show you that because basically it's pretty simple that these two screws come off the cover plate comes off and it exposes the little uh, uh, transceiver and then you'll see the pigtail connection on it and just connect this antenna to that and then I just drilled a little hole right here I don't know if you can see it. I drilled a hole in the frame and just ran a, a zip tie to hold it in place um, and that's it I mean that's simple as that guys I don't I can't you know I can't keep saying I can't say it enough it, it really is a simple modification uh, for much better range much better quality on video and I just wanted to share that with y'all I'm sorry it took me a while to post this video out um, I had a subscriber that asked if I can please explain the antenna modification um, I just now completed that I'm sorry about the delay I was kind of busy guys um, for the past oh man close to a month just a heck of a lot of work and um, just didn't have time to do videos but I've got a little more time now so I'll probably push out a couple of more videos in the next couple of days you'll you'll notice a lot more videos popping up um, I do appreciate everyone that does watch my um, videos 
hopefully it's informative and helpful in some form or fashion and um yeah i appreciate you guys watching guys um that's it for now i'll catch you on the next one peace out